Okay, so that's the next day, a couple of days later, I think. It's raining outside, so that's a good time to be doing this. Today we're going to uh, connect the card to the uh, computer and load some sounds on. So that little red plug there, that's uh, the USB. You get this, you can buy this lead uh, from benadini.de, same place you get the card. It can only go in one way, so you're not going to mess it up. That's that. That's the standard USB. We'll plug that in now. So you can see I've connected the USB lead to the laptop. I don't need the receiver plugged in at this stage. It does say to you do need your uh, speed controller plugged in to the prop one, the third uh, pin in prop one. But if you got one of these little battery pack things um, that you can use for receivers. I keep this around, I use it for the um, programming card for the ESCs, for the brushless ESCs. So you can use that. It's just got to supply the voltage to the card so the laptop knows it's home. So I'll just plug that in. Got to make sure red and black at the bottom, white at the top, always. Or if these other ones here, that's uh, the lighter yellow, tanny coloured. So, you heard the beep. It's, it's got the juice. The software is called TBS Flash. And it's a download from benadini.de. When it first opens, it asks you which module you are connecting. In this case, it's the TBS Mini. Okay. So the um, the card is connected to the laptop, and the next thing we're going to want to do is connect the software to the card. So we simply use this uh, little drop-down selector here on the upper right. Uh, select the COM port that's available and hit connect. You'll see down below the status is now connected and you have a green connected symbol. Next we will add a sound set to the software. To do this we will go to benadini.de This is the website we get the software, the sounds, uh, order the card, etc. So we'll go to the download section and we will go to the sounds. We have airplanes, sound sets, helicopters, half tracks, tanks, trucks, cars, boats and miscellaneous uh, sound sets like tractors and excavators, motorbikes, etc. So, good selection. What we're going to do is download the Bell UH-1B because it's a cool helicopter. So we'll download that and install that on the card. So you can see here, I have the Bell UH-1 sound set. It's a TBS file. And uh, we'll just go back to the uh, TBS Flash software and go File open sound file we'll find the folder where we have the sound sets and there's the bell UH1 it has loaded up the sound set and you can see from here it's the bell UH1C 
and we have each of the sounds in these slots here that come in a set uh, M1 through to M6 and special sound 1. In this column, well in the very first column is the name in the second column is the file name for example uh, if you click the little dot 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 icon it brings up an open sound file dialog box and it will be a normal uh, location here little red X is delete these buttons are to demo it this column here is the length in seconds the quality is telling you what is the recording is at uh, 22,000 hertz 8 bits mono the sample rate must be the same for all sounds used and in this case this sound file is using 22,000 hertz the mode, uh, these are greyed out for the uh, M1 to M6, the motor sounds, and then you can set the volume of each sound individually if you want to mix them so they don't, some are louder than others and things like that. What we're going to do though, is we'll get into that when we start adding our own sounds, custom sounds. What we're going to do now is write the uh, Bell UH1 helicopter sound set to the card, and um, then we'll... Uh, run up the uh, transmitter and we'll, we'll play the sounds. So um, just down here we've got the fill state, this green bar here, it's 60% fill, so I've got another 40% of the available memory for extra sounds if I want it. And um, that's pretty much it. All, you, all you've got to do is find your sound set, load it, if you like it, hit right sounds, which we'll do right now. You'll see down here it says that it's erasing the flash and this has gone orange or yellow. Basically what it's doing at this stage is it's clearing the sound set that I had on the card of the MAS uh, 537 and it's now programming the uh, Bell UH1 sound set onto the card. This will take a few minutes um, this, and don't unplug it while you're halfway through it. Just leave it alone and when you see the green indicator here again it's ready, so we'll just cut straight to that now. Okay, so it's finished programming the helicopter sound to the card. It's got the message down here, and it's gone green indicator again. So we'll switch to the camcorder and we'll play the sound set. Right then, we're going to turn on the controller. Power up the uh, system. It's still plugged into the laptop, but that doesn't matter. It's fine like that. So, uh, cards on, a little green flashing light, speed controller, receive everything's wired up. So, let's see what uh, the startup sound on the UH1, Bell UH1 is. So there you have it, the card is now programmed for a, with a helicopter sound set. That there's the uh, special sound effect <coughs> loaded with that sound set. <coughs> Excuse me. It's got the six um, motor sounds plus one extra sound. So I guess that's what's in that extra sound slot there is a bit of voiceover chatter, uh, radio chatter. So we'll um, go back into the world of 
computer screen capture and reload the Maz 537 sound set back onto the card and then we'll add a custom sound. So we're back into the screen grab so uh, screen grabbing software here where our card is reconnected and uh, you have the Bell UH1 sound file loaded still. Um, so we're going to open the sound file, choose the MAS 537, and we've loaded now loaded the truck sound set back into the software. Before I write the sound set back onto the card, I'm first going to add some custom sounds. So sound four slot through the sound 16 is empty, so uh, but also sound two and sound three. I don't want either of these sounds. You can't hear it because of the software, the way it's recording, but when I click these, there's two horn sounds, but neither of them really match the truck. So to remove them, you just simply hit the red X. Yeah. It's, it's no biggie. So now I'm going to add some sounds to fill those slots. The sounds that I want on the um, truck. So first thing I'm going to do is put some air brakes on. Um, you'll see here, that it is 22,000 hertz 8 bit mono. And the, the real thing, the only thing you have to watch here is this 22,000 hertz has got to match because that's the sample rate of the entire sound set. Next thing, I want to add a horn. And um, we have a quick look at the sound folder here. You can see we've got a horn set right uh, sound here. Um, however, when I try to load it, the software does not see it. That's because the sound has to be a wave file type. And um, because I'm getting sounds off the internet through Google, I'm not going to go on about where to get sound and samples and things like that. Use the search engine. You'll find it. Basically though, what you find is that your, your beggars can't be choosers and this happens to be an MP3. So, if I drag that onto audio software here, Audacity, so this software is free, a free download off the internet, uh, Google it, you'll find it. What I'm doing here is I'm just cleaning up, I'm not even having to listen to the sound, I can see the, this, the sound file here. I'm just cleaning up uh, some of the dead air, front and back, sometimes they have little uh, clips and noises and whatnot. So you can use this software to clean up the sample that you get off the internet, or if you record it yourself, if you pull it off a YouTube video, um, you can quickly get the part of the sound that you need. So the other thing of note is that this is come in at 11,000 hertz. You can see right there. And so this is still not, that's why it won't, one of the reasons why it won't work with the uh, sound set. So what you've got to do down here on the project rate is change that from 11,000 to 22. And that's pretty much all I have to do. Nothing else. Clean up my sound file if I feel that way inclined and change the project hertz rate and then save it back out as a wave. So I'll export the audio. Wave file type. And the correct folder. And then we'll go back to the Flash software, and there it is. It is seeing it now because it's a WAV file type. It has the correct sample rate. And uh, adding custom sounds as simple as that. What I'm, <clears throat> as I quickly mentioned before, you could uh, load it as a normal sound. This one will tell it to loop whenever you trigger it. This one will tell the engine running sound, uh, M1 through to M6 over here, to mute. If, um, useful for if you've got a revving engine sound effect, and that's what this slot here is actually up top in sound one. And the dynamic in that loop and out are a way of daisy chaining more sound effects together so you can run them in sequence. And <coughs> it'd be probably be fairly similar to the way that they use the start and idle they will daisy chain, start up sequence, and then it will automatically go into idle looping. 
so it'll, it'll be a similar methodology that's used in the um, engine sounds like speed. I might want to save my sound set now, so I can go save sound file. This is going to save my custom sound file that I've just made with my extra sounds. So we'll just rename this and save. So in theory, if I open another sound set, say a V8, load it in, new sound set. And you'll see these in, in their hashes, but they are still the sounds that I've loaded in. So this sound set now is easy for me to reload back into the card. I don't have to reset it up again now that I've saved it as a TBS file. And it's useful if I do make some more modifications to the sound set. I can always go back to the original. So I'm not going to lose anything at all. So we'll write this sound set to the card now. Okay, so we're back on the camcorder and can actually hear the sound again. So uh, what we just did is loaded up the Maz 537 sound set back onto the card here and also we added a couple of uh, custom sounds. So uh, let me see if I can find the custom sounds first. Uh, the custom sounds, uh, as before, flicking across to the to the uh, right here, is like selecting the sound slots. So, uh, so if we go to sound slot three, that's the ear breaks that I added uh, in the screen grab just shown before, and that's the horn that I. Um, downloaded from the internet as an mp3, turned into a wave, changed the sample rate to 22 and then um, put into the card as well. So back to truck. And that sort of thing. So that's it. I'll just quickly talk about the next part in this video series. I can't be bothered going back to the web capture software, but the next thing we're going to talk about is the parameters tab. And this is where it gets really cool. And if you think doing your own custom sounds is cool, this is the business end of the stick right here. And uh, I look forward to uh, explaining this to you because it's pretty cool stuff man it's pretty cool anyway that's going to be the next video on programming the sound card and this tab here is where we start getting into the multifunctional side of the sound card and um, writing and reading parameters which all relate to all those extra little output pins there fun times man I'm geeking right out. Anyway, I'll catch us on the next video.